Good Thursday morning to you. I'm meteorologist Elizabeth Copeland. As we have the door today, we are tracking some snow in the area, single digits this morning until teens. Uh, we are reached right about 9.30. Continue to see that snow mostly across the Rocky Mountain front and the southwest part of Montana. By 2.30, most of us get into the upper 20s, low 30s. That snow still sticking mostly to the south and west. Very isolated snow showers expected today. And then by 7 p.m. as we're heading home from work, some of us in Lewistown could see a flurry or two. But other than that, snow will continue to stay off to our west for most of the day. A clear day for the north and east, but a windy day for the Rocky Mountain front as well. So about noon, we'll continue to see those areas of uh, orange there pick up. So 30 to 40 mile per hour gusts across the Rocky Mountain front into Browning and East Glacier. 20 to 30 for Cup Bank this evening as you head home from work. And then most of that wind continuing to stick to the northern part of the Rocky Mountain front through late this evening. Winter weather advisory in effect for those areas highlighted in blue across the Rocky Mountain front due to that wind picking up uh, that snow on the ground and blowing drifting snow possible with a little bit of accumulation from those isolated snow showers today. Reduced visibility possible as you have out the door. That's in effect until 8 p.m. this evening. So visible satellite showing us quite a few clouds, but also that snowpack. So those areas that aren't moving yesterday were uh, those areas of snow we still see on the ground. So we have quite a bit of snowpack through Canada, Montana, North Dakota, and South Dakota, but that also means that we won't warm up as much. So snow depth across the at least Rocky Mountain front continues to stay 24 to 36 inches, a little bit higher across the southwest part of the state, a plus 100 there, and then in the 80s across the north and west. So with that snowpack, we'll continue watching for quick warming as we continue to see some Chinooks move in, and we'll also track some below average temperatures due to most of that snow reflecting off that heat, not allowing us to absorb it these next few days.